Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see task two in the hands-on lab four. So uh, here, before you know, we create an easy to uh, auto scaling group, we must create a launch template that includes the parameters required to launch the Amazon EC2 instance, which is a uh, you know uh, ID of the Amazon machine image, the AMI and an instance type so uh, let's uh, type ec2 in the um, aws search bar and open the ec2 okay so here uh, click on the instances under the uh, instances okay and uh, here you can click on Okay, launch templates. Okay, and uh, click on create launch template. So here we can configure the following information like launch template name. So I'm going to put lab template. Just putting some number. Okay, and our template uh, version uh, description. Let me put version one. And uh, if the template uh, name already exists, uh, then you can choose a different uh, name. Okay, and uh, next for application and the OS images. Here you can see Amazon Mission Image. So here uh, we'll choose the Quick Start, and uh, here we can choose the Amazon uh, Linux as the OS. And uh, you can ensure that uh, Amazon Linux uh, 2 AMI is selected uh, in this drop down. And uh, for instance type, you can choose, uh, let's just select uh, t3.micro. So when uh, we launch an instance, uh, the instance type uh, determines the hardware allocator to your instance. So each instance type offer different uh, compute, memory and storage capabilities. So uh, next, uh, under the uh, network settings, we can, you know, for a uh, security group, we can choose the inventory app and uh, can scroll down to advanced uh, details. Okay, so uh, here we can see the IAM instance profile. Okay, here you can choose inventory app role. Okay, and uh, you can scroll down under the uh, user data. We can paste the uh, you know data that we copied in the previous video, and then create launch template okay here you can click on view launch templates okay next uh, in task 3 create an auto scaling group So in this task, uh, uh, we create an auto scaling group that deploys Amazon EC2 instances across your private subnet. And uh, this is a security best practice when you know deploying applications because uh, instances in a private subnet cannot be accessed.
from the internet so instead uh, users send a request to the application load balancer which will you know forward the request to the amazon ec2 instances in the private subnet as you can see in this following diagram the amazon ec2 auto scaling is a service designed to launch or terminate uh, ec2 instances automatically based on user defined policies schedules and health check so the service also automatically distribute instances across multiple availability zone to make applications highly available okay so uh, from this let me go to the uh, amazon management console so here uh, let's you know go to the auto scaling groups okay so under auto scaling you can see the auto scaling groups and create auto scaling group and enter the auto scaling group name inventory auto scaling group okay and uh, launch template so under the uh, launch template so we can select the one that we created and click next okay so next in the uh, network section under the vpc you can choose the lab vpc and uh, availability zones and subnet we can choose the private subnet one and private subnet two okay and then click on next and here under the configure advanced option you know we can select the following options so here we can see there are three options here you can choose attach to an existing load balancer and uh, here you can choose from your load balancer target groups okay and uh, existing load balancer target group so from this inventory you can choose inventory app http so this tells the auto scaling group to register new ec2 instances as part of the inventory app target group that you examined earlier and the load balancer sends traffic to instances that are in this target group okay here l checks uh, optional so we can you know uh, leave the default option which is 300 seconds and uh, here uh, the monitoring you can you know enable uh, group matrix collection within cloudwatch and choose next okay and here uh, under the configure uh, group size and uh, scaling policies here the desired capacity we can make it two and uh, minimum capacity let's make it two and uh, the maximum capacity also make it two and click on next So in this lab, uh, we always, uh, you know, uh, maintain two instances to ensure high availability so that if the application is expected to receive uh, varying loads of traffic, it is also possible to create scaling policies, which will define when to launch or terminate the instance. However, which is not necessary for the inventory application for this lab. Okay, so uh, next we'll uh, click on next. And uh, here we can see add tax. So here let's uh, enter the key as a name. 
and uh, value inventory app and click on next so here we can uh, review the uh, details and create auto scaling group Okay, so uh, once we done that, our application will soon be running across to availability zones. So auto scaling maintains the configuration even uh, if an instance or availability zone fails. Okay, so now uh, we have created the uh, auto scaling group and uh, we can verify that uh, this group has launched your EC2 instances. Okay, here uh, we can you know choose the auto scaling group that uh, we have you know created. So here uh, you can see that uh, there is a activity tab. Okay, so this activity history section, which you know maintains a record of events uh, that have occurred uh, in our auto scaling group, and uh, next you can you know uh, check the instance uh, management tab. So here uh, you know we can see that uh, the auto scaling group has launched to Amazon EC2 instances. And uh, they are in the in service life cycle state. As you can see here, this is in service. Also, the health status column here you can see that it is healthy. And you can click on the monitoring tab. Here you can review monitoring related information for your auto scaling group. Okay, so that's it in this video and uh, we'll see the next task in the next video. Thank you.